Hey Farmhands, Farmer Reef here. Welcome back to another episode of the Phoenix 700. So on today's episode, we're gonna start doing some of the plumbing. As you guys can see behind me, I got my sumps into place. I ended up changing up my design a little bit. Remember I said I was gonna go with two tier? Well, I thought, well, I have all this counter space on the back. I might as well just put a full sump in here. So you guys can see, it turned out pretty good. It's got a great size sump. I went with the, the same kind of theme. Went with the red, the black, the clear. So on the back and the bottom, it's all black acrylic and the top is red and clear on the front. So I just, that's part of what was going on here. I did, I switched it up. That's what, in this hobby, things uh, don't turn out like you want, but you can always just keep moving forward. So this is what I went with this design. Um, you guys can see, I got the Deltec skimmer. It's in the first uh, sump. I got all the plumbing done from uh, the main display. You guys can see here, it's coming across the ceiling, down into the first sump. And that's where uh, the Deltec skimmer is gonna catch all the proteins and everything, all the fish waste, food, anything that's not eaten is gonna go into the skimmer. And then we're gonna go into the second uh, chamber here where it ends up, we're gonna end up uh, installing um, the, the abs pump right here. As you can see from my previous video, we did uh, the unboxing. This thing's a beast, lots of power. And it's can't wait to show you guys how we're gonna hook it all up. Um, anytime you're doing a pump, you always wanna have some kind of union fitting. So I want the specs on um, this pump here. So the inlet on it is a two inch and it's inch and a half uh, on the outlet. So I'm just gonna keep it there the same way they're specking it. So you guys can see here, I got a, a valve. This one's here, a ball valve, but it's a union fitting as well. So what that means is say, was there ever a problem with that pump? I can just keep this part hooked to my sump. I can shut the water off so I don't have to worry about changing it out. This piece will be attached to the pump. And then you could just take your pump apart, replace it, put it back together just like that, screw it on, and then you're back in action. So this is the two inch that's gonna hook to the sump, to the abs pump, and then I have the same uh, same one like this, but it's only inch and a half going to the main display. So what I'm doing is I'm going inch and a half, pretty much all the way to the main display, and then I'm gonna cut off, uh, sit down another size to inch to feed the, the 700 upstairs. So that's the plan, guys. So today, um, we're gonna drill uh, the sump, we're gonna add uh, these union fittings uh, with the valve to close them on and off. Even if you wanna do maintenance and clean up that uh, pump, it's so much easier. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do some gluing, some cutting, some measuring, and just have some fun with it. And then uh, start doing the plumbing for the, the return upstairs and we can turn the 700 on. So let's go ahead and let's start uh, hooking up this abs pump. And I'll just take you for a little tour. You guys can check out the sumps, all the plumbing I've done. And uh, the other video is coming up. It shows you how I did all the plumbing coming from uh, the main display upstairs down to uh, the basement here in the new fish room. So come on guys, let's take a little tour and uh, we'll start hooking up this pump. All right, so I'll take you for a little tour first to show you guys uh, what's all taking place here. So here's our first uh, chamber. This is just for the, the Deltac skimmer. So you gotta check it out, it looks pretty sweet. Um, you can see all six uh, drains coming from the overflow boxes upstairs. I'm using full, full uh, all six. I don't have no emergency drains. Uh, the way I've, I planned it out, there should never be a problem if you do your design correctly. So this is just for uh, the sump. And then this sump here, I probably might do a refuge, I'm not sure yet. We'll, go, we'll just uh, play that by here. And then what we still need to do here, is this is where we're gonna drill in our other bulkhead, two inch bulkhead, we're gonna put it here. And then uh, here's our uh, as pump right here. So this is just gonna be for this area. And just when I was talking about uh, the ball valves, these are with the union things on here, it's gonna go right on. But I gotta do the, the producer on first, just like that. And that'll go. So anytime there's ever a maintenance or problem, I can shut this off, take off that, pull that pump out if there's ever a problem. So we're gonna drill this today. We're gonna add all these pieces together, do the gluing, and then we're gonna go straight up up here and across the ceiling back to the main display. Plus the other thing we have to do, we have to come off of here with a header. I'm gonna bring it down all the way across the back and hide it down in behind here. And so this area here is gonna be my reactor area. I'm gonna have three different uh, Deltec reactors here just for carbon and ROA to help polish the water and with the, the ROA take the PO4 out of the water so you don't have any algae problems. And I got down here, I haven't showed you guys yet, this here, this Deltec is about, the skimmer, not skimmer, but a reactor, it's about three feet tall. And this one here is just to take out nitrates out of the water. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna grow a bacteria in here and I'm gonna feed it with, uh, it's called fuel, to fuel that uh, bacteria. And then the bacteria eats all the nitrates and all that good stuff that's in our water we don't want in there. 
and so that uh, bacteria will look after it. So I always have a great uh, bacteria supply in my 700. And then this one right here, it's, this one's about even taller. It's about three and a half feet, um, calcium reactor. So we're gonna have some fun hooking up all these new toys. So that's what's going on here. So this whole area is just gonna be for reactors right here. And like I said, I'm gonna bring another pipe off of the abs pump just to feed all the reactors over here. So we're gonna come around behind and I'm gonna build a header here with a whole bunch of uh, ball valves. So and for maintenance, I can shut things off and then I'm gonna hard plumb all of these as well. I don't wanna have any uh, rubber tubing at all. So right here, I'll just have to build a stand for all these reactors. But yeah, so you can see all the plumbing going across the ceiling here. All six pipes go to the main display. I'll show you that video later when we did all the plumbing. So this is what's going on today, guys. We're gonna have to plumb in the abs pump here and do the header. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, farmhands, so I got everything ready. I got the two inch bulkhead. Um, to put a two inch bulkhead in, you end up, you need a three inch uh, hole saw. This one's bimetal, go through anything. And I have everything marked out, got my centers marked out. So you wanna make sure everything's perfectly aligned and uh, centered for your pump, so if there's any vibration. But it's a good thing with the abs pump, it has some really good uh, rubber uh, supports underneath it, so it takes that vibration out of there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install this bulkhead and then we can start doing all the plumbing for the abs pump back up to the main display. So they asked to have a two inch uh, inlet, so I'm just doing the specs of what they have. So they want two inch in and an uh, inch and a half out. And by the time I get to uh, the main display, I'm gonna downsize to one inch. I don't need an uh, inch and a half all the way up on the second floor. It's a little too big for my liking, but I'll definitely spec it out all the way here. So let's go ahead, let's drill this one out, and then we'll start doing all the plumbing. Um, I end up by, you can see, I see behind me right now, I built that header for all the reactors. So it's good to go. I wanna make sure I had that into place first. So when I end up coming off uh, the abs pump, I'm gonna run another uh, inch and a, just another inch pipe around the back of the sumps over to uh, the reactor area. This way it'll keep this area a lot cleaner. Plus um, I have a sign coming in here, a logo. It's gonna be pretty awesome to be all lit up, but I don't wanna make sure it's all by itself. So let's go ahead, let's drill this out, glue this all together and start the plumbing up to the main display. So I got everything all marked out here. I got a red marker, I don't think you guys can see it. So you just gotta take your time. We don't wanna end up cracking this, so we'll just take our time doing it. So I got my centers here. And you just wanna, you just wanna start slow. It was pretty effortless. It likes to grab, it's so sharp, so it just catches and catches and catches. So it definitely makes a little bit of a nasty job, all this plastic. So I'm just gonna pop that out, clean up this area a little bit, get the vacuum. It's nice to have a nice clean work area. All right, so we got the bulkhead in. Always remember to hand tighten your bulkhead, never use a wrench, you don't wanna crack something. So I just have a mock-up of the pump here, I'll show you. I just did a mock-up to see how it was gonna fit. So this way, get everything level, and now if this perfectly slides in here, we know we're centered. So there you go, it just uh, fit just like a glove. So I'm gonna work back, I'm gonna glue the two inch piece into the bulkhead, and then the two inch piece into the, the union fitting uh, valve, and then we'll finish off to the pump, get that all into place, make sure everything is secure. So that's what our next step, guys. So I can pull, start pulling this apart. So here's our first two, uh, two inch piece. I'm gonna glue it up. Slide that in. Give it a twist. I always like to give them a twist. Get a rag, clean off that excess glue. And then move on to the next piece. So we've got our valve. Make sure everything's nice and parallel. Put 
We've got that piece in. So we'll do the next two inch piece. Good. Now to the pump. There we go. So we have the, the pump. It's all glued together now. So we'll let that set up. Well, it doesn't take long. And then uh, we'll start uh, doing the plumbing up to the second floor. And then we're going to run our piece off to a T here for our header pipe. The head's over there with a one inch pipe. <clears throat> so next we have to add uh, the valve for the inch and a half pipe coming off the top of the abs pump. So this one here we're going to glue onto here. Then we got to figure out our height for our one inch. We're going to put a T in somewhere around here so we can go around the side of the sump here to run our one inch so we're going to downsize we're going to put a reducer in here and downsize it to one inch so we'll have to figure out i want to try to hide it as much as i can behind this sump so we're 12 inches let me see over here so we're going like 14 center so it's just going to be riding above the top of the sump it won't be too bad i'm liking i'm actually liking the white with the black and red because all the white matches all my deltec skimmers so I'm not sure if I'm gonna uh, end up doing the pipe all red or not. So I'll have like the combination colors and everything will go together with the Deltec, well, the white, the red, everything. So it looks like it's gonna be perfect. So let's go ahead, let's start doing the plumbing uh, around here to end up doing the reactors. So let's go ahead, we're gonna glue on the inch and a half valve right now. There we go, make sure everything's nice and straight. Just like that, perfect. So I'm thinking we're almost have to come off this T right now if we want to keep it low. So I end up, I'm gonna need like a two inch piece. So I think I'm ready to just measure inside your coupling. So one inch, one inch. Yeah, so we're gonna have to cut a piece. All right, so I got the two inch piece cut. You always see the, the writing on the back. I always like to hide that. So we're gonna glue that one in here. So I'm gonna come across and we're gonna put another 90 on the wall and we're gonna kick it out back there. So let's glue this one up. All right, so let's, before we add the T, I have a reducer down to one inch, so we're just gonna glue that right in there. So I'm gonna do that next, get my glue. So I got the, got the reducer in. Let's do the head get some new glue right out. Just add that on there. Twist that. Make sure she's straight. Clean up all this excess glue. straight there like that so we've got a reducer so we'll just have to do a put a 90 on the wall down here find our level and then shoot that one inch all the way down to the reactors so I'll end up take a measurement where's my measuring tape just need a nine inch piece I'll cut that up I got a slide. 
I got some leftover pieces that always come in handy. Here's that 90. Just cut that up. Works good if you get a pair of, a pair of these cutters here. Works great. All you have to do is put them in. It makes a nice cut. You can use any, you can use a hacksaw if you want. See, nice cut, smooth cut. Let's just dry fit this. See how that's gonna work. See, that's pretty decent. So now we're gonna kick off down behind uh, the sump. So we're gonna glue this into place. We just dry fit it, make sure everything was good. And again, perfect. Clean up this excess glue. Then after you can just take some cleaner and clean it off even better. That's what I'm gonna do. Give everything a nice wash down. So this way by using just one pump, you're saving on power, you're not running multiple pumps. So now I'm just gonna we'll measure that out down there, do another 90 up, and go right to the reactors. So now we just gotta measure down to that wall. That's what we're looking at here. 97 inches plus a 90, do the math. All right, so I got that piece ready to go. We'll glue that in, then we'll put a level on it and uh, get it into place here. So let's get some glue. Get rid of that excess glue. Like that. Let's get a couple, couple clamps to drill. Some screws. So always gonna put level on everything. You want everything level, plumb, and square. So it looks good. Perfect. We'll get one down a little further. There we go. So we got our pipe, head down there, do the reactor. So all we have to do now is head back to that end, behind the skimmer, finish the pipe across, then up to the reactors, make sure they're all turned off. And then we can come back here and we can finish the inch and a half back uh, to upstairs to the main display. All right, so now we're here over here and this is gonna be my reactor section. Uh, eventually we're gonna have to build some kind of uh, two tiered shelf here. So we put the smaller reactors here and then our large uh, nitrate calcium reactor here. So this is where the one inch is popping out at the back. So we're just gonna come across up here with the 90 hook onto our header. Make sure these are all turned off. We'll do those on a later date to hook all them up. But then we can start finishing up uh, the inch and a half back upstairs. So I'm just gonna do a few measurements here, get a few pieces cut up, get it glued, and then we can move on. All right, so we're just gonna glue this 90. I'm gonna come down straight with the 90 here and then cut across. Let's just glue this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
clean that up. That was close. Never stick it on there. If you can't move it, you might never get it back off and really mess things up. So, took a little bit of pounding. So we're good there. Clean that up. So we're gonna come down. Cross like that. Cut this piece up. Should go there, I'm just gonna glue that up. 22. want to make sure everything dry fits nicely make sure everything's level and square it looks good so I'll pull that back out so we can glue that back up nothing like having a pipe that's not level it's rough reactors I was thinking I would just uh, put unions on all of them and I can mount them like this and each one can go boom boom and then I can just take these off it'd be a lot easier for uh, you know cleaning and everything so it looked pretty sweet but I built the other shelf like that Paul three reactors right there I think it worked pretty good just trying to make everything uh, easy for cleaning maintenance I'm just trying to make everything so nice and neat so I'm hoping like you know this is hopefully my ultimate build here for myself and uh, I want to do it right the first time it's like when I was first doing my videos, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do a two-tiered, uh, you know, sump, but I end up, well, not, I'll just use it, go the simple way, instead of making things so complicated. So make sure these are all shut off. Then we do a, you know, make sure it doesn't leak or anything. So now let's move on and let's start doing the inch and a half. So there we go, so we got that pipe in. So there's our header. Goes around and behind. Over here. So we got the pump, it's all hooked up, it's looking good. So all we have to do now is just start doing the piece going upstairs. Hmm. All right, farm hands. So we're getting closer, plumbing's looking good, it's all coming together. So let's start uh, doing uh, the return upstairs. So I got some inch and a half pipe, and um, we're gonna go from there and start heading up, and then we're gonna reduce it down to one inch when we make it up the stairs. So let's head and get started. So, need to cut a piece two inch here. Um, let me check, where's my measuring tape? I mean, inch and a half, so we're looking at the same thing. We're gonna need. I need to chunk three inches. Cut that off, three. Sometimes the bigger stuff, you gotta use a hacksaw. Just give me a second. So I got the inch and a half piece, I needed a 13 inch. And then uh, we're gonna put our 90 into the ceiling. So let's glue this one in. Slide around. And 
then we're going to put the 90 in. Tighten that into place straight. There we go. So now we just have to do our inch and a half to the ceiling uh, and then uh, go through the floor with a one inch and then start doing the pipes into the tank for the return. All right, farmhand, so I got the inch and a half pipe gone to the upstairs, you can just check it out. Turned out really nice, you can see that. So there we go, that's what we're doing for today. Just wanted to show you that progress and how things are looking. I got a lot of cleaning to do, get all this uh, mess cleaned up, start shining things up a little bit. Hey farmhand, so thanks for tuning in this week. We did a little bit of plumbing together, it turned out really well, so the weeks to come, you're gonna see the rest of the videos start unfolding. I'm gonna get the water, everything all mixed up and ready to go. So thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and hit the like button.